Okay, let's have a good walk around this uh, iconic beauty, the Mercedes 450 SEL 6.9. Um, as far as I'm aware, the biggest engine Mercedes I've ever made. Um, lovely car, this one. Finished in uh, in gold um, with the uh, the correct style uh, brown interior. Um, should we say a period combination? Because it's one of the last cars built, this one, in 1981. Um, Nice original vehicle, the only difference it's sitting on, on later um, Mercedes uh, eight hole alloys. Um, these either sit on the sort of normally on the, on the, the little 21 hole alloys or the, uh, uh, the colour coded hubcaps. But uh, someone's fitted uh, say the, later, um, the later wheels to this one. But she's gorgeous. Um, a really nice, uh, nice well kept car in fact. Uh, we'll go around in a bit more detail and uh, find some some good points and no doubt some bad points for you um, so you know what you're getting from the front lovely bonnet is superb I'd be surprised if it hasn't been repainted at the front actually um, although the colour match seems to be pretty good it's just that the bonnet is very very free of uh, stone chips and things um, all we really have on the bonnet is an outer pimple one that's sort of pointing out was just there and in fact yeah, there's a very slight run there so yes the bonnet has been repainted um, and a larger stone chip just there on the near side. Um, but aside from that, the bonnet is, uh, well, the bonnet's lovely. Really. It's done 144,000 miles this one, so you'd expect a little bit of uh, chipping here and there. Um, chrome around the grille is nice. Uh, headlamps, the, the driver's one looks like it's got a little bit of uh, condensation in it, so I can't see a, um, a, uh, a cut in the lens or anything, or a hole in the lens, but. Um, Maybe just the, uh, the rubber is around it isn't, uh, isn't brilliant. Passenger side one is fine. Um, front bumper chrome, pretty good. Um, could do with the polish, which would do. It's just I've done 70 miles on it so far and I've got a few more miles to do. Um, we'll come back to that corner. That all looks lovely around there. Certainly as you'd expect given its age and mileage. Looking down the near side, it's beautifully straight down there. Um, possibly the the rubbing strip on the near side rear door uh, is slightly misaligned but that's about it I'm picking holes now um, lovely around the near side front arch it's all good near side front wing is all super scuttle panels good um, screen it's got a few insect marks on it but no uh, it's a, a top tint screen no um, no nasties on there at all um, let's go to the roof tiny bit of um, blistering just there hasn't broken through the paint or anything just the tiniest bit of blistering just where my finger is on the uh, um, on the roof that's all good there yep it's all nice from that side uh, near side door oh, the, the near side chrome mirror has got a slight dent in the back of the chrome just there once again that's picking holes somewhat uh, near side door very very good one or two tiny bubbles just coming up just here on the the back of the near side door hasn't broken through the paint once again and a little bit just there just bubbling up slightly on the near side um, near side front door interior is absolutely lovely on this one um, so one or two tiny marks on the seats that you can probably see just there but um, nothing uh, uh, nothing crucial um, all the woods really good no wear on the driver's seat or anything headlining's lovely uh, the interior is um, pretty much first class. All you've got is the, on both sides, the the, um, the plastic trim that covers the uh, uh, the backrest adjustment has um, has obviously got a bit brittle and snapped off at some point. They are actually in the um, in the glove box, I think, but uh, they've they've had seen better days. And the height adjustment knob, um, the top of it has come off on the passenger seat there. I think it's where the plastic just gets brittle over age. Um, that's all lovely there. Has been repainted this car, I'm sure. Um, because the paint is, is, uh, is just too good really uh, and I can see a tiny touched in area just on the, uh, the near side rear door just there. Um, once again near side rear door is lovely apart from a tiny bit of bubbling just under the paint just on the bottom edge just there. Uh, in the near side rear here fantastic it's got rear seat belts um, and it's in top condition in there and you can't fault that it's got rear headrests as well uh, near side rear wing, lovely. Uh, around the arch, it's very nice. It's one tiny touched in chip just there on the arch, but so we are picking holes a bit now. Um, near side rear valance is all good. Uh, 
chrome on the rear bumper, so we'll, we'll give it a polish. Um, it's just got rain marks and stuff on it, but the basic chrome is, uh, is very, very nice indeed. Um, the boot lid is fine, all around the rear window is fine. It's got obviously the proper 6.9 badges on. The chrome just on the offside rear here is just starting to lift very slightly by the rubber. Just um, lifting a little tiny bit there. Um, looking down the offside, once again very, very straight and true down there. No, uh, no parking dinks or dents or anything like that. Spot on. Uh, offside rear valance. Very nice offside rear wing, little bit of orange peel really along there. Um, if you want to be absolutely uh, nitpicky, um, just around by the fuel filler. Um, offside rear arch is all nice and the valance. It's all good up here. Unusually, it hasn't delaminated around the rear window. This one um, roof on the offside, very very good. Once again, a tiny bit of bubbling. Same as on the near side, just up here. Um, just bubbling under the paint. Nothing has broken through anywhere on this car. Um, offside rear door, splendid. No nasties there at all. Um, looking inside on the offside rear, once again, spot on. Lovely. Doors all shut with a nice clang. Um, offside front door is splendid. Just this trim here has come slightly loose. The trim underneath the uh, underneath the door here needs a. Uh, He's refixing. I know people normally catch it with their feet when they're getting out. Chrome trim's slightly loose. Um, tiny chip just there on the driver's door, but otherwise very, very good. Uh, offside front wing, splendid. Screen on the driver's side, once again, splendid. No delamination. Um, and the same on the offside rear corner. Just the, 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 um, the chrome is just starting to lift a little bit on the, uh, on the offside front corner, just down there. Um, but that's your lot. Lovely car. Um, interior wise on the driver's side, as I say, the driver's seat is, isn't is worn. That's in splendid shape. Um, no nasties there at all. Uh, the rest of the seat is fantastic. Um, dash is great. All the instruments work and everything. Um, no, she's fantastic. A fine, fine Mercedes. Oh, same same thing on, as on the passenger side, the top of the height adjustment to, lever has come off as and has the as has the trim around the um around the the, the backrest adjustment but uh, so that's very minor that's about it my name's simon you can reach me on 0771 906 9353 or in the office on 0118 946 3352 or you can go to our website which is uh, www.motodrome.co.uk if you want to know any more uh, details or info about this uh, rather iconic um 450 SEL 6.9 and